I don't really think it's, there's any difference. If anything, I think there was a great advantage uh, to being um, the reporter for the Wall Street Journal in Baghdad. We had a very small staff for about a year. Um, there was another reporter who was based in Iraq, but for most of the time it, it, I was alone. Um, you know, the journal didn't really uh, cover news or, or breaking news um, as much as the New York Times or the Washington Post. So it kind of freed me up to be able to um, focus on enterprise reporting. I would sometimes work on a story for an entire month uh, and really, um, you know, go in depth and try to uh, cover all the angles because I didn't have to worry about the press conference today or, or the breaking news about the military. So it was really liberating. And I think um, uh, it, it you know, it, it made you feel good about the reporting you were doing, too, because you could um, do more in-depth enterprise reporting um, for the Wall Street Journal. You know, I think that uh, reporting Iraq is very challenging. It presents a lot of risks. Um, it's uh, very difficult, and it uh, changes depending on what, what's happening on the ground in Iraq and the security situation. So I think the media have had a, a hard time um, you know, reporting Iraq, and they've done a remarkable job at staying the course and sort of, you know, figuring out creative ways uh, to tell the story. I think one of the challenges was that the um, the violence was just so uh, spectacular um, that the headlines were often stolen by the number of people who were killed, the number of suicide bombs, the violence here, you know, how many people killed. And, um, you know, after a while, it, it feels like the readers back here have Iraq fatigue, that to them, Iraq is just a bunch of numbers. Uh, and figures where, you know, there was a human story behind the war. And I think the biggest challenge uh, and the lesser told story of the war is really what happened to the Iraqi people and the human side of the war. Uh, a lot of uh, the coverage that the, the war gets uh, from American media is centered around the troops, um, you know, how the American military is doing on the ground and foreign policy. Um, and it's hard to, you know, get enough space and enough um, coverage um, for just ordinary, normal Iraqi people who are coping.